Hello and welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. Guys, I'd like to give you a quick tour of my balcony garden. And over to the left, I have some green beans growing in a stack of a planter, some zinnias, peppers, gladioluses, cayenne pepper, and an azalea. And over to my right here, um, I have some broccoli and marigolds. Uh, this was previously some bok choy, but it went to seed. And because I'm trying to grow more in 2024, I replanted with some broccoli. This container over here is empty. I'm looking for where I put my uh, morning glory seeds uh, that will trellis up this little ladder here. I've got some more zinnias here. I will be planting some onions there in the bottom. Over here I have a rose in this orange container, some impatience, mint, some orange poppy, and in this container I had my spinach, and as I've stated, it went to seed. And so I replant it with uh, marigolds and collard greens. I have a yellow lantana there. This is my container of strawberries. And guys, I'm still pulling little hackberry seedlings out of here because, of course, they fall from the trees here. But those are my strawberries. As you can see, they've grown since the last time you saw them. Another bell pepper here. Uh, hanging baskets. Uh, that is some um, petunias. Over here, those are begonias. Then over here, guys, this is the kale in my tan-colored stackable planter. More peppers. Another azalea, more peppers, lettuce, more peppers here. This is a container of flowers from Dollar Tree. This is my herb planter and I am going to sow more seeds and perhaps change some of the soil out because I use the Dollar Tree potting soil and it's not really the best uh, for young seedlings to be able to emerge uh, from the soil. More of these little orange poppies here. A hanging basket of petunias. More of the zinnias. These only get to about 12 inches in height. Here I'm growing some freesias from Dollar Tree. There are some lilies in this container, more zinnias, tray of geraniums, and uh, more of the orange poppies, azaleas. And in this container, guys, I'm growing more corn. Over here, I have lemon balm, some forget-me-nots in the purple container, a hanging basket of zinnias, and here I have my celery and beets. And in this container, I've planted tomatoes and basil. the table I have some more tomatoes and I am going to remove each of these tomatoes out of this soil and place it in some better soil because I don't want to miss out on these tomatoes because they've already germinated they're just stunted because of the type of soil that I used I've got two hanging baskets over there of impatience 
this is my red giant mustard greens and they are looking absolutely beautiful I've not had my first harvest as of yet and then down here on the floor uh, I'm growing uh, more tomatoes and um, what I don't need on the homestead will be sold at the farmers market in this container I've sown seeds for um, collards and also the heavy hitter okra and I was introduced to the heavy hitter okra um, by hands in the dirt Stacy and I ordered the seeds from Baker Creek they arrived and I've already sown them just waiting for them to germinate here is a container of Swiss chard and over here I have more okra these are the Clemson spineless okra but this is what the balcony is looking like guys on April 24th of 2024 I was able to find um, these hanging baskets from Aldi's they were $8.99 as opposed to the $16.99 or higher that you see at many of the big box stores. So I always try to get my hanging baskets uh, from Aldi's. And a couple of them I made myself uh, using, um, you know, the little plants that come in the little eight packs. I made a couple of um, hanging baskets with those. But as you can see, the green beans are growing just fine. Some of them are empty. I've sown more seeds, waiting for them to germinate in those empty spaces. And um, I still have uh, more pots uh, to fill up. But this time of the year, I like to look for clearance plants at Lowe's. And so from time to time, you may see that I have added uh, more flowers uh, to the balcony garden or to my butterfly garden. Okay, guys, I'm not going to make this any longer. Um, just wanted to come on and share with you uh, my balcony garden and that I have removed the bok choy and the spinach and have planted other vegetables in its place. Uh, we typically have a growing season that lasts until about mid-October. So definitely I wanted to take advantage of the space to grow more food. And also to share with you guys that I'm still sowing seeds um, for my home garden and market garden. And also to be able to sell um, at the farmer's market. For example, uh, this tray of peppers right here. These are all going to the farmer's market. And so these are jalapeno peppers, uh, cayenne peppers, uh, and uh, I think habanero peppers. All of those are either mild or hot uh, peppers. But I forgot to take this tray downstairs to give room for the young ones that I'm trying to uh, get to germinate. But... Um, I have several trays of peppers and tomatoes that will be going to the farmer's market this weekend. And for subsequent um, weekends when I'm at the market so that there's a continuous supply of vegetable transplants until about the 30th of May. And then that's when I usually stop selling transplants because most people have uh, already gone on and planted everything by that date. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you all are doing well. If this is your first time visiting, I want to welcome you and encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and the notification bell for future videos. And for those of you who continue to support the channel, I thank you very much and wish you all a wonderful day. God bless. Bye-bye.